Just log on to makingitmag.com. Sign up for your membership and start submitting music to get booked on major shows, magazine features, radio interviews, sponsorships, and more great opportunities. That's makingitmag.com. Doing dope stuff for dope artists. Ten years strong. that old thing back like songs by outcast 36 mafia and ugk then tune in to the down and the dirty mix show with j prez and djt did that on wednesdays at 5 p.m right here on the award-winning k100 radio the hottest hip-hop and r&b mixes on k100 radio It's going down, down. Here's another exclusive interview on K100 okay, Radio. Do it. You know the drill. You yes, yes, are yes. tuned to the K100 Radio Hip Hop and R&B. Y'all ready, man? Yo. We're not done. We're not done. Yo, yo. Yes. K100, you bastards. K-100, you bastards. All right, man. You bastards, you bastards. Uh, uh, the second uh, interview that we got going on today, the second person that's won the Sound Capsule Series in the past two months, we got Mr. Uh, DeMello. Am I saying that right, brother? What's going on, homie? Yo, yo. Yo, yo, what up, what up, Mr. D. Melo, live in the fact, live and direct. What's good? What's going on, homie? Welcome to the show. What's good with you, Thank fam? you for having me. Thank you for having me, man. Well, first of all, fam, oh, let me uh, make sure I change my um, change my picture over there. I got you over. I had uh, Dre still up there. Let me change that real quick and make sure we got your picture over there. <laughs> all right, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's all the right. homie. That's the homie. Shout out to OG Dre, man. Shout out to OG Dre. Shout out to Alan. Shout out to everybody. Part of that Omar Quest boy, boss lady, man. It's been nothing but love since I got over there. Absolutely, man. Well, again, man, welcome to the show. I want to uh, just take a minute to pause real quick. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, I want to let you just introduce yourself. Tell everybody where you're from, man. You feel me? Go ahead, bro. You got the floor for a minute. Go ahead. Yo, yo, what up, what up? It's your boy, Mr. D. Melo, live in effect, live and direct. Originally from the BX Borough, New York. My family's from the Dominican Republic. So, you know, my music pretty much tried to fuse my heritage and my roots. That's what we're about. I've been in Georgia since 06, and I've just been trying to do big and better things since. Man, dope, man. So listen, fam, I know that um, when I was in the um, I lounge, that was... I, uh, when I, that that last time uh, I was in Eyelines, which was last week, was when I first heard you. Now I go to line, I line, I've been you know mm-hmm. with him and rock with him for a while, but I don't get to see all the acts. You feel what I'm saying? So you know that was that was the first time right, I, actually, right. I actually saw you. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, I was like, yo, yo, the, mm-hmm. the boss is there. He's spitting. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. I was like, yo, yo, yo he's, he's really spitting as far as the bars and everything. And I was like, he's different. You know what I'm saying? I was rocking with it and um. I guess you said, you know, you got a, a, a Dominican background. Um, right now, you uh-huh. know, the way hip-hop is right now, there's a, a a wide array of music that is uh, popping right now. You feel what I'm saying? But your, uh-huh. your your particular style, the flow spitters, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Do you feel like your style right now, the way you're doing it, you got a winning formula right now? I feel like everybody's formula is their own formula and everybody can win. But I, I'm about, as opposed to like what's playing on the uh, on, in the clubs and what's playing on the radio and stuff. Um, you know the 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 lyricist always had uh, kind of a, a slow pickup. I mean, not everybody would be for that. A lot of people would want to move or want to listen to the beat more and just enjoy themselves. A lot of people, you know, you typically listen to the music in an environment where you just want to dance and groove. Very rarely you will go to a spot and be like, all right, let me listen to what this person is saying. So um, for me, the fact that I caught people's attention and the like that I'm doing it with my lyrics, that, that meant a lot to me. Um, but I think I think everybody got a lane. It just depends on how you how consistent you are and how you approach it. I feel that. I feel that. I like that answer. You feel what I'm saying? You know, um, and so with that being said, I want to jump real quick before we push any further. Um like I said, the first uh-huh. time I met you, I saw you was at iLounge. So how did you get hooked up with iLounge? How did you find out about Sound Capsule? Who put you on that? And how did you, you know, end up coming over here on our broadcast? You know, how did all, all this happen? Um, honestly, I got put on to iLounge. It was a, quite some time ago. A buddy of mine, shout out to Great Cloud. He uh, he put me on to the show, and he's done a couple of shows over there. And that was just some years ago, even before Sound Capsule was there. 
um, I got back into the mix of, of trying to find performances and get my music out there more and more. And I, re I always remembered Eye Lounge. So one day I walked in and introduced myself. Um, already the vibe was just dope. Everybody was close knit, you know, laughing jokes and ha highs and all that stuff. So it was kind of like a family uh, ambiance in there. So that's one thing that attracted me and, and to keep coming back. But ever since that first time, I did my thing and I got that response and I've just been keeping it moving, keeping it moving, keep keep coming back every Wednesday and trying to do the best I can with it. And this, this month, you know, it, it, it showed and proved. Exactly. So so how long you been at it, bro? How long you been rapping? I've been I've been writing music since I was about thirteen. 13, 14. Right, right. Um, as far as writing, when I really got into it, as far as pursuing it and really pushing the scale, by maybe 17, 18, when I really got to understand what type of artist I wanted to be, what type of music I wanted to put out, and so on and so forth. And what? And, and I, I guess, uh, what was your inspiration? Like, what made you really go hard and, stay, and take it serious? Because everybody has that point where it's kind of like a game. But then something sparks in them and they just like take it super serious and they started spending their money. They start going to the studio. Shit gets real. What 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 was the uh, turning point for you? Well, I've I've always been like me creating music has always been my passion for me. So whether I'm out performing and showcasing or not, like I'm always creating music in some way, form or fashion. Whether it's for myself, whether it's for somebody else, whether it's just me playing around. But as far as performances, you know, I had a couple people in my circle that just kept pushing it and like, oh, Yo, your, your music is dope, right? It needs to be out there. It's, you know, just playing clips on reels every day is not going to do it. You got to get out there. And, you know, at one point the battery just kicked on and I was ready to go. I lounged um, in a couple of other places that I went to, I showcased, and I've just been pushing the scale ever since, just trying to get the consistency going. Exactly. I dig it, man, for real, for real. And like I said, man, we're going to get ready to get into the music in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got it. Uh -huh. where, 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 you, you, you said you've been in Atlanta for a while, but where were you originally from again? Like, where were you, you really started again? Origi originally from New York, BX Borough, right. BX Stand Up. What up, High Bread? What up, right. University? Um, but yeah, I grew up there, so a lot of my my inspirations come from the northern music. Not knocking the southern music. I love I love the the, the vibes out here. And I mean, I even use some of that to kind of inspire my uh, some of my songs. But right. Growing up in New York is just a little bit of a different flavor, um, and I guess that's what stood out for me here. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to make sure I got the borough right. You feel me? Because I was it was kind of pertinent to my next question. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the way that New York the, the sound. The sound. This is a, this is a technical music question, and we'll jump into your joints. The sound of New York has uh -huh. changed like so much over the years. Like you've got like literally like from 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 like just flow spitters and all that to now you got like what they call New York drill music. You feel what I'm saying? Where it's it's not necessarily as lyrical. It really sounds more southern than it does. You know how 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 uh, you know traditional New York uh, East Coast music sounds. How traditional New York would typically sound like. Right. Right. So 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 so. As an artist who has, who came from New York, from, you know, from the BX, and then you down in Atlanta, like, how does that feel when you go back home and on the radio you hearing, you know, R.I.P. the Pop Smokes or the Five E.O.s or whoever, and the sound isn't even necessarily oh, really what made New York New York? How do you feel about that? Um, well, you know, throughout time, things change, and you got to adapt to what's going on. Um, granted, we New York or up north would still be home of the lyricists. Even even the artists that's pursuing other lanes of music, they can spit. Like you know, sometimes you, they may not write it out and spit it to you because they're trying to create art. And creating art is not always about hitting you in the head with bars. I mean, you gotta create a structure and, and make it well rounded to people to pick up at any given point. So whether it's your beats, whether it's your lyrics, whether it's your flows, the, the contents and substance that's on the song, everything plays a part. The more the changes, for me, is it, dope because, you know, if, if it stays the same for too long, it, it kind of gets boring and nobody wants that. So you got to step it up a bit. And this is New York's way of doing it. I'm not mad at it at all. All right. I like that answer. All right. So... Um... We're going to go ahead and get into the music, man, because I got a couple more questions. But I want to make sure that, you know, since we uh, 
started just a couple of couple of ticks late and we got to, you know what I'm saying, make sure we end it on time for the next uh, segment. I want to make sure that we get, you know, okay. a, a deep dive into the music. So I got two joints by you uh, and they actually got video. So, you know, if, if, if you're watching right now yes, on um, YouTube, Facebook or Instagram, you'll actually be able to see the videos for this interview. If you got videos, we load up the videos. So you got Bounce Back, you got Gotta. Um... I got the bounce yes, back sir, yes, joint. Sir. I got the bounce back joint. That's that was the one you really. I, I felt like you was rocking really at Eye Lounge. Talk to me about this record, man. You know what 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 brought this record about? What inspired it? You feel me? What, what who did the beat? What's the collaboration? Highlight us about it. Um, so you know the beats came from uh, Accent Beats. Shout out to Accent Beats. Um, and when I heard it, it kind of just spoke to me almost instantly. Um, you know, I was going through something where I just needed to pick myself up and, and get back going, you know, put the battery back in your back again. And this kind of spoke to me in that light. So, you know, hence bounce back. Whatever you go through, whatever you're, you're down on or think you out, like you always got to pick yourself up and pull yourself out onto the next, man. Like, like don't stop. Word. I got it. So, man, I, I want to go ahead and let, uh, let you let you let you do a, a hard drop. And introduce this record and this video right here on K1's Radio. This is the first time it's ever been played on our broadcast. First time it's ever been viewed on our YouTube channel. So go ahead, man. Give me that drop, and we're going to go ahead and get into this thing, man. You got it, bro. Tell me what, tell me, yeah. tell me right now. Go ahead. Like, drop oh, it. It's your boy, Mr. Thimelo. Got the latest single on the project, Back to Life, Bounce Back. Um, the video I directed and edited. Shout out to the homies that helped out with that. And I hope y'all enjoy it, man. Just take it and run with it. You know what it is, K100 Radio. Check it out, man. You are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip hop and R&B. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a built back. Bigger, better things, baby. I'm about that. Even if it's allowed, so I'ma get it right back. I'm coming through the front, and I'ma go around. Either way, either way, baby, I'm a bounce back. Bigger, better things, baby. I'm about that. Even if it's a loss, I'ma get it right back. I'm coming through the front, no, I'ma go around. Either way, either way, baby, I'ma bounce back. Yo, what's your motivation? What gets you going in the morning for the creation? Trying to get it rolling, ain't worry about these ovations. Only thing I need to be knowing is a little patience. Ain't trying to miss a step. I studied and I prepped. I did everything that I needed to pass the test. He tried to count me out, said I wasn't a threat. But now I'm in your face like who cutting the check? Who coming to rap? Who coming with next? No time for lames, no time for stress. They talk a good game, but too scared to step. They walk but no brain and don't make any sense, so I'm on them. And see, I trying to kick me while I'm down. I dare you try to keep me from the crown, though. And you know when they come, I come around, going down, going down, going down. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a built back. Bigger, better things, baby, I'm a belt that. Even if it's a loss, I'm a get it right back. I'm coming through the front, oh, I'm a go around. Either way, either way, baby, I'm a bounce back. Bigger, better things, baby, I'm a belt that. Even if it's a loss, I'm a get it right back. I'm coming through the front, oh, I'm a go around. Either way, either way, baby, I'm just trying I'm to bounce back. back. Never said it'd be perfect. I'm only shedding blessed with tears if I feel it's worth it. Y'all don't understand the concept of putting work in. Let alone staying with the process until it's working. Back against the wall, pressure peaking the scale. Before I had wins, had to take a couple L's. Commit a couple sins to keep from going through hell. Considering I never been, think I'm doing pretty well. Can't you tell? Just trying to be ready for the moment. When that op knock door ready open. Got the plan and the proof already going. Now I'm planning on quitting till your boy's on it. I got a new perspective on the vision. Respect if you want a mission. Shout out to all your ambitions. Don't let what the haters say sink in. They ain't right within. They hope I'm a wish I'm, I'm, I'm a bounce back. back. Bigger, better things, baby. I'm a belt that. Even if it's a loss, I'm going to get it right back. I'm coming through the front. Oh, I'm going to go around. Either way, either way, baby. I'm a bounce back. Bigger, better things, baby. I'm going to belt that. Even if it's a loss, I'm going to get it right back. I'm coming through the front. Oh, I'm going to go around. Either way, either way, baby. I'm going to bounce back. Bigger, better things, baby. I'm going to belt that. Even if it's a loss, I'm going to get it right back. I'm coming through the front. Oh, I'm going to go around. Either way, either way, baby. I'm going to bounce back. Bigger, better things, baby. I'm going to belt that. Even if it's a loss, I'm going to get it right back. I'm coming through the front. Oh, I'm going to go around. Either way, either way, baby. 
are tuned to the K100 Radio. All right, K100 Radio, I'm your host, Blizzom. This is another direct line interview. K100, you bastards. K-100, you bastards. What up? <laughs> we rocking out. And this is Jamelo. Let me bring, let me open this uh, mic back up. That joint was called Bounce Back. Shout out to everybody that may be watching and checking this on our YouTube channel. We appreciate the support. <laughs> All right, homie, that one right there was definitely Yo, a vibe. Yo. That was... That was definitely, for, I could tell, for the club, you know, give them the energy. You feel what I'm saying? Like, there, yeah, that one was what? That was the one that you rocked out on Island. Uh, yeah, and that, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. And that goes back to what I was saying. I mean, depending on how you combine the structure of the music, you can you can put everything in there and still have a dope song. I mean, you you, you caught on to the lyrics. A lot of people catch on to the flow. The beat by itself would get people's attention. So I think that was a real good uh Rounded, rounded bases on what a song should be. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, 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 I love the energy, but, it, but it was, it, it, it was, it was party, it was club, but it had bars. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, nice and crisp. I, it I, I was rock. positive. It, it, yeah. You know, I like, I like to inspire and uplift in as many ways as I possibly can. Good, good. So what's um. <laughs> What do you what, what what do you think about the overall not just not just where you're from not just Atlanta, what do you think about the state of of, of hip hop right now? Do you feel like hip hop is still you know um, everything that that you know we always wanted it to be? You think it's still growing? Do you think it's stagnant? What's your take on the state of hip hop right now? Um, hip hop. I always said I always said it's like like when we grow up and you know things start to cycle around. When we were listening to music, our parents would look at us like, what is that? You know, until the next generation and we looking at them like, what is that? And so on and so forth. But as a creative, you just see like, all right, this is a different lane they're trying to embark on. Like, this is how they feel it. They feel this type of way. They they make this type of music to embrace what they're living right now. Music is about experience and, and, and just embracing life. So whatever comes out of you from listening to a beat, you can't knock that at all. All right, so with that being said, how much do you feel, how much stake do you put in an artist's music really being a reflection of themselves? Because right now we're at a place in hip-hop and in a place basically, frankly, in history where saying what you really have done, may do, think, can almost get you indicted. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong, if you've done something super illegal... And you're dumb enough to actually say, literally, lay it out for the feds. I get it. That's 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 not what's up. But a lot of people basically say hip hop is under attack. You got Jay Z and other people, you know, going to Congress about this, like our freedom to express ourselves mm-hmm. without having to worry about fucking going to prison for talking about living our life. You know what I'm saying? So, how, how much stake do you put in your music as an artist? Of like, yo, this has got to be authentically me, or whatever, or Maybe I shouldn't say it, or maybe I should just make up some shit because it feel like if I tell the truth, I, I might mean, end up I, like young thug. Nah, I a hundred, I a hundred percent try to be me uh, a thousand percent of the time. Like, if, if even if I try to fabricate something, it won't, it won't feel right. It won't sound right. I mean, I for me, I pick up on those things. Like when, when if this is not really the life you live, you can tell when somebody's talking about it. Like, all right, here goes one lie, here go another lie. These two don't even go together. So how did this happen? Um, it's just certain things you pick up on. I mean, I'm not a fan of fabricating lies and, and you know telling all these crazy stories, especially if you're telling them yourself. Like nobody needs to know all of that. But if you feel like it's a story you need to get off your chest for whatever reason, then I mean, I'll listen to it and see what you got to say. Mm. I, I guess I guess right now it's like hip hop is hip hop. I've, I've said this several times on my platform, and I'll. I said again on this particular interview, just for the record again, I feel like hip hop gets held to mm-hmm. a very unfair standard. No other form of entertainment is where you where where Absolutely. it's taken literal. I mean, it's taken it, so literal. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, you know, the, the stereotype that comes with hip hop is not the greatest. But at the end of the day, we're still the most listened to and enjoyed music of all genres. But do you think so that's because we, people we believe doing it? Time, right? do, 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 But do you think that's because people believe? Here's the thing. That's the catch twenty two. Do you think it's because we're the genre that when people hear it, they tend to believe that the person saying that is really doing it? Ergo, if you're talking about crime and killing people, 
maybe you are. And that's the aura behind it, which, again, could also get you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you think? Could also, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Not necessarily. Um, I just think people, like, they get out of their own their own struggles and own lives and own drama that they're going through. So they'll jump on a song and, you know, whoever's talking that rah rah to get make you to forget what your own problem is. Same thing with uh reality T V. I mean people are drawing the drama. So if it'll forget if it'll make you forget your own piece of drama for even for that thirty minutes, sixty minutes mm-hmm. or a song, two minutes, three minutes, then they gonna jump right on it. And some some may relate to what they're saying. Some may just find it catchy and interesting. Right. I don't know. It's a good answer, though. All right, man. So uh, I just wanted to ask you that particular question. We're going to get into this next song because, you know what I'm saying, uh, we got to make sure we ride out to two songs. At least you got two songs, two videos. Uh, this net, this next record is called Gotta. Um, I actually have the video loaded up for that one, too. Tell me about this one, fam. So Gotta... Uh... I came across this female called Brianna Marin. Um, she actually already had the hook set, and I fell in love with it. Um, so we built on that. Um, she gave me the she gave me the blessings to take it and run with it, and this is what we created. Um, the video was shot by my dude Eddie Cloud. Shout out to Eddie Cloud. Um, and we, we I just had a blast having putting this video together. To me, honestly, it was the first time I had somebody else write the hook. I'm so used to writing every single part of a song if it's mine that this first time it, it felt good to get an outside perspective on what a hook should sound like or what the song should feel like and things like that so i, re- I had fun making this song this was actually my first single i released before my pro before my project back to life all right man well let's check this one out man this is uh mr demel uh demelo and uh name is joined is called gotta and who's that artist featured again gotta featuring brianna marin all right, let's check it out. This is k one Your Radio. I'm your host, Blizzom. This is a direct line interview. Make sure you follow us on Spotify, follow our podcast, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's check him out, man. Sound Cap is a winner of July. All right, shout out to I Lounge. Shout out to Omar. Shout out to the whole crew. Let's yes, check sir. it out. k one Your Radio. You oh, are wow. tuned to K100 Radio, hip-hop and R&B. You like it, here we go. Gotta get the getting while it getting good. Couple niggas tripping, wasn't thinking that a nigga would. Now I'm different, whipping, flipping everything a nigga could. Got a bad bitty, call me daddy, nigga, living good. What more can I ask for? Get the bag, hit the gas, screeching on that asphalt. Niggas mad, I ain't sad, baby, get your passport. Anywhere around the world so I can learn to save such an asshole. I'm focused on the paper, faint about that. I'm sorry, I'll see you later. And this is just facts, but it might be after that. Cause if I'm still hunting stacks, then it's part of my back to your haters. A whole lot of life to live and I got a whole lot of money to spend so I bother. Worrying about all the things I don't want. I've been focused on the green since I got a whole lot of life to live and I got a whole lot of money to spend so I bother worrying about all the things I don't wanna I've been focused on the green since I got a Shit happens. 
happens when the shift happens I be damned if I'm one of those that said what happened Every plan come with some foes, they just distractions Understand there's plenty of those on the roads we passing Nothing to lose, I bet it all for keeps I just want my peace without interrupting my peace Catch me with the fan parlaying on the beach Dapping up my angels, God gave me capiche The rest y'all can have, I'm locked on the bag Point blank from half court, that's water when it bang Can't stress what y'all thought, that's always been my thing Me playing this blood sport is an automatic rain There's no need to applaud me, headed to the glory Look back for what's nothing there for me See I'm a real one to come by, you only get one try Live and let live, don't be the dumb guy Whole lot of life to live and I got a Whole lot of money to spend so I bother Worrying about all the things I don't wanna I've been focused on the green since I got a Whole lot of life to live and I got a Whole lot of money to spend so I bother Worrying about all the things That might be it right there. I'm sorry. That was my fault. All right, Mr. DeMello. Yes, sir. All right, that was my fault. I had, I had, I had everything turned down. You feel what I'm saying? All right, that was my bad. Uh, all good, all good. All good. All right, so listen, fam. Uh, I want to make sure that we uh, give a chance for you to give out all your social media, give out where they can find this, the music, um, you know, all platforms, streaming, everything, bro. Give it to me. So you can find me on every single platform under Mr. Dimelo, Mr. D I M E L O, and on the gram, just find me on Dimelo the Corp. If you turn that E into a three, it'll lead you right to me. All right, man. That's what's up, man. So, yo, I like that second one too, man. I like Gotta. I like Bounce Back. Um, just because of the energy, I think the Bounce Listen, Back. I, got- I think the Bounce Back joint, we're gonna add that one to our rotation. You feel what I'm saying? Because I just like the energy behind that one. You feel with me? Um, so we're going to show you some love I, I, on this. I appreciate you. you take, it, take it and run with it. You know, you listen to the album Back to Life. I got more on there. So then we can do this all day. All right, man. That's good stuff, man. Well, again, uh, salute to you, man. Congratulations for rocking that sound capsule and man, uh, winning that prize. And uh, that landed you over here. Uh, make sure you let everybody know to download the k one Radio app. And if you missed any parts of this interview, make sure you go check it out on Spotify and on our um, YouTube channel. It'll be over there, man. Anything you want to say before we go, homie? Um, I just want to thank y'all again for having me on here. It's definitely been a dope experience. Um, shout out to everybody at Outland that kept pushing the scale. Um, everybody behind the scenes, too. And they don't get recognized that often. Shout out to DJ Calissimo, Money Mike, Sue, Precious, Boss Lady, um, Omar, and all the other artists that be, that be part of that. You know I mean, like the OG Dre was on here earlier, King Man, few times ten. There's it, a bunch of us. I lounge is one of those things where you can you can sense that everybody's dope and that that there's no ego there. Everybody's just cool. Everybody wants to create and everybody's about that life. So shout out to everybody. Shout out to K100 for having me. 
And big and big, big and better things. Let's push the scale. Absolutely, man. And it, and, it, and it needs to be said that that's why we rock with them like that. That's why we pull up. That's why we sponsor the event. That's why we do these interviews because we just feel the vibe. They good people, and um, it's never been a problem over there for us. You know what I'm saying? Fact. So, um, yeah, we gonna keep we gonna keep riding out, man. As long as they keep doing it, we gonna keep having they back. All right, man. It's good to meet you. Uh, glad you got a chance to be on the platform, man. And we'll see you back on the grind, homie. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Thank you. All right, and that's going to wrap that one up. K100 Radio. You are tuned to the K100 Radio. Hey, everybody. Hip-hop and R&B. Please make sure. Thank you, thank you. K100, you bastard. Please make sure that you guys um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Uh, we need to, we need to, we need, we should have way more subscribers on YouTube. Way more people rocking with our podcast. It's just crazy. You know what I'm saying, but we don't we don't get into all that. We don't I don't I don't get down about it. I don't feel bad about it because I'm not doing it for the accolades or the numbers. Honestly, I'm doing it for the culture. And if you've been around K100 Radio and you've been watching me long enough do this, you know that's true. All right. So, but we would like the support. We would like that at least the free support, the the, the subscriptions to YouTube and following the Spotify and you know liking the page and you know downloading the app, giving us a little fi- none of that. We ain't asked you for a dime yet. You know what I'm saying at this particular point. Uh, even when we do music Ill, reviews, Illa Kill, that shit is free. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get an interview on K100 Radio, um, if you don't go through the channels of being sponsored by one of the many platforms that we rock with, you can book a direct line interview directly on K100 Radio. All you have to do is go to our, K, our website, uh, k100radio.com, go to the services page. It's, it is a fee if you go straight to the website like that, but it's not nothing that you shouldn't be able to afford as an independent artist. If you can't afford what we charge, you, you should be more concerned about getting a job, you know what I'm saying, to make sure you can finance your career at that point because we keep it low on a, we keep it low for a reason. We could charge more, but we don't because we want to make sure that um, we rock with the streets and the independent artists. We know how hard it is to be an artist and work and grind and go to school and take care of your family and pursue music. We do it every day. All right, so thanks, everybody, for working with us on K100 Radio. Salute to everybody. Salute to the grind. Salute to Sound Capsule. Uh, tomorrow, Illa Kill, some more direct line interviews on Thursday. This weekend, we're rocking out with DJ Waffles at Waffles Weekend. Did I miss anything? I think not. K100 Radio, stay locked. You are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip hop and R&B. K100, you bastards. Hit subscribe. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bounce back. Bigger, better things, baby. I'm a belt that. Even if it's allowed, so I'ma get it right back. I'm coming through the front, oh, I'ma go around. Either way, either way, baby, I'm a bounce back. Bigger, better things, baby. I'm a belt that. Even if it's allowed, so I'ma get it right back. I'm coming through the front, oh, I'ma go around. Either way, either way, baby, I'm a belt back. Yo, what's your motivation? What gets you going in the morning for the creation? Trying to get it rolling. These ovations Only thing I need to be knowing is a little patience Ain't trying to miss a step I studied and I prepped I did everything that I needed to pass the test He tried to count me out Said I wasn't a threat But now I'm in your face like who cutting the check Who coming to rap Who coming with next No time for lames No time for stress They talk a good game but too scared to step They want but no brain that don't make any sense So I'm on them And see y'all trying to kick me while I'm down Try to keep me from the crown, though And you know when they come or come on rails Going down, going down, going down I'ma, I'ma, I'ma bounce back Bigger, better things, baby, I'ma belt that Even if it's allowed, so I'ma get it right back I'm coming through the front, oh, I'ma go around Either way, either way, baby, I'ma bounce back Bigger, better things, baby, I'ma belt that Even if it's allowed, so I'ma get it right back I'm coming through the front, oh, I'ma go around Either way, either way, baby, I'm just trying to bounce back Never said it'd be perfect I'm only shedding blood, sweating tears If I feel it's worth it Y'all don't understand the concept of putting work in Let alone staying with the process until it's working Back against the wall, pressure peaking the scale Before I had wins, had to take a couple L's Commit a couple sins to keep from going through hell Considering I never been, think I'm doing pretty well I'm just trying to be ready for the moment When that op knock door ready open Got the plan and the proof already going Now I'm planning on quitting till your boy's on it I got a new perspective on the vision Respect if you on a mission Shout out to all your ambitions Don't let what the haters say sink in They ain't right within They hope I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bounce back 
Big and better things, baby, I'm about that Even if it's allowed, so I'ma get it right back I'm coming through the front, oh, I'ma go around Either way, either way, baby, I'ma bounce back Big and better things, baby, I'ma bounce It's street anthems, bitch. Hey, come on. Music certified by the streets. This your man, DJ Will Money. Catch my mix show, Street Anthems Live, right here on this station. I'm playing the hottest hip-hop and R&B music. I'm also showing love to all the independent artists with the indie spotlight segment. So tune in to your favorite station right here. Let's get it. Hey, yo. Uh, Street Anthems Live Mix Show. Yeah, keep it locked. Get live with DJ Will Money. Yeah. Make sure you tune in to Sunday School with Willie Spears right here on K100 at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be a great opportunity. We provide a little inspiration, some motivation, and some encouragement. We want to do everything we can to add value to your life. So keep it locked right here at K100 to hear your boy. That's right, it's me, Willie Spears. I want to help you in every area of your life, baby. Bring a little love to your life. You know how we do. Keep it locked. You can hear children praying. You can hear the greatest shout-outs you ever heard for your favorite HBC you and so much more live interviews and great great music at the one and only station for the greatest music the greatest vibe the greatest djs right here on k100 it's sunday school with willie spears keep it locked to k100 and sunday school with willie spears What's good? This is Kelby Cannon, publisher of Making It Magazine, here to let all my independent artists, producers, and DJs know about MakingItMag.com. Not only are we Atlanta's number one magazine for the urban music industry, but we're a national platform that provides real opportunities, real exposure, and real industry connections. Just log on to MakingItMag.com. Sign up for your membership and start submitting music to get booked on major shows, magazine features, radio interviews, spot.